Hello, hello, this is Drist, aka Jason in Real Life, and many of you may know me from my series of videos for Shroud of the Avatar, which is a fantastic game, but I also, for the briefest amount of time, began a series of videos where I talked about my weight and my weight loss endeavors. While I did not continue that long term, I have an update for you, so stick around and I'll tell you all about it. So, throughout my life, my weight has fluctuated up and down, up and down. In fact, looking back, the leanest I've ever managed to achieve was when I first entered the military at the young age of 20. And at that point in time, I was a lean, mean 215 pounds. And I actually had to lose 65 pounds just to get in, which I did. But since then, it came back, you know, even in the military with the... Even with the what I thought was eating habits that were healthy, it came back, and that became the standard for me. I could lose the weight, you know, with exercise and a certain type of eating, and then uh, it would come back. And yeah, I would lose the weight, and it would come back. And in March, actually, of 2018, I began a series of videos on my YouTube channel where I was going to, once and for all, get this weight thing under control. And, of course, exercise was my main go-to there. P90X was the series I did, which it's a tried and true exercise routine. I love it. But then we have my eating habits. So let's take a look at my meal plans from 2018 and that video series, shall we? Week one. This is what my week one looked like in uh, that beginning of that series. Of course, plenty of uh, veggies was thrown in here. And of course, eggs for breakfast. <clears throat> it mixed in with those little veggies and then uh, dinner was well lunch was uh, chicken breast with uh, more veggies and of course dinner was some more veggies and chicken breast or some sausage and uh, nuts and celery and nuts and cream cheese oh yeah cream cheese but <clears throat> that was my meal plan week one and if we look at week two it's just more of the same and Knowing what I know now and what I've been experiencing now, I can see the big flaw in this little approach here. So I was attempting a low-carb diet here without fully understanding energy and what the body needs for energy and stuff. So as body needs energy and it gets it from either carbohydrates or fat. So if we look here, we clearly have no carbohydrates and we clearly have no fats. At least nothing worth mentioning. I managed to maintain this uh, this little diet thing. I put up four videos. I actually ran the thing for about a good month and a half, and I got my weight down to about 275, I believe. And it might have been a social event or something happened and caused me to deviate from this eating habit, like has happened in the past. That was like the floodgates opening, and we were back at it, and the weight came right back. And that's all she wrote. In fact, more of it came back. So fast forward to today, uh, fast forward six months ago, really, really wanting to get this weight thing under control. And for more of me, it was becoming more of a health concern and not so much a weight thing. And so I did some, a lot of research. What can I do? How can I do this? And I managed, started looking beyond the mainstream mentality approach of how to eat. And I discovered something called carnivore, the carnivore approach. And like the name implies, it is a meat-based diet. More accurately, it's a animal-based diet. As, so that means you know, your standard meat, steaks, and ground beef, and bacon, and pork, and etc., etc. 
and of course eggs because that's not that's a animal based and dairy potentially if you can handle dairy because that's animal based so that i discovered that and it's a low carb or in that case no carb approach and it's high fat and so i dove deep into that learning about it how can i implement this and then six months ago once i learned what i thought i needed to know i kick-started it and i did not exercise at the time i just was focusing on eating and like i said it become more than than just a weight loss thing for me it was a health thing for me and so about a month later i went from my weight that i started at of 315 down to about 290 ish and that was without you know, it was about 285 ish that was without any exercise and that piqued my interest because one I was getting zero cravings. I was feeling satiated, which is a whole different feeling I hadn't been experiencing before. No cravings, feeling great, energy levels are perfectly high. So I thought, huh, this is great. I wonder if this is the key I was looking for. I began my exercise routine, you know, P90X and some other stuff that I've found. And I promptly, you know, two months into it, I got down to uh, 270 pounds. And then, of course, along this path, I discovered that I have an inclination for uh, comfort eating. It has to do with, like, Snickers or certain types of ice cream. And it's usually late at night or certain times, of the, you know, that kind of thing. So I deviated here and there, here and there. But mostly I was eating that way. About I would say about 90% carnivore with about 10% deviations from this little comfort eating thing. And while I did not continue to lose the weight, I also did not gain it back. So fast forward even more to today today, actually two weeks ago today, I stepped on the scale and I discovered that, hey, I have not gained this weight back. So this may be the approach that I need as long-term sustainability. So we are restarting this whole uh, exercise series and uh, we are doing it on the carnivore diet and we are doing P90X and we also discovered DDP yoga. And we'll probably do some other things too, but we're starting the series up and I want to give you weekly updates like I did before. And, but beyond that, we'll actually start talk, doing videos where I talk about the carnivore and why I'm doing it, doing it, the benefits of it, everything I learned, I will do a video and communicate it to you folks. So first of all, let's go back to what this diet looks like for me. So this, I'm currently eating twice a day, and this is what an average day looks like for me. Now, I say average. It's not set in stone like this every day, but it's pretty darn close to an average day. Breakfast for me is bacon and eggs. Gotta love the bacon. It's 12 pieces of bacon, actually. So 12 pieces of bacon. <clears throat> That's what the nutrients look like for me for 12 pieces of this type of bacon. And, of course, six eggs. I eat six eggs, and that's what the nutrients look like there. And then, uh, so I eat twice a day, and I don't snack. That's the other amazing thing. I don't even snack. I don't feel the need to snack. So my second meal of the day is uh, ground beef, about a pound-ish. This is showing a pound right here, those nutrients, but sometimes it's a little over a pound. And uh, liver, uh, organ meats are a great source of nutrients and stuff. If you're going to eat a lot of heavy uh, meat-based diets. So I love liver. So this is what I choose. Two, pe two eight ounces. So it's about 16 ounces here. Or no, it's a four ounce uh, piece of the liver. So we're talking eight ounces here. So that's, and all told, we're looking at about that many calories per day with those fat and protein ratios. And like I said, this is just a rough, rough estimate. Um, instead of ground beef, sometimes I'll throw in a pound of steak or two pounds of steak or something like that. Or, uh, But whatever I choose, it's high fat. So I supplement, I cook my ground beef or my steak or whatever I happen to be cooking. I cook it in lard and I cook the liver in lard and then I will like drizzle the lard when it's done over the top of it all like gravy to really, really beef up that fat intake. <laughs> And uh, I don't feel the need to do it with the bacon and eggs in the morning because that seems to be fine. Uh, the bacon produces f plenty of fat on its own. But, and like I said, I also eat a lot of fish. And uh, 
Fish are great for the omega-3s and some other stuff. So that's kind of what my diet looks like. And let's look at what I initially looked like. I have some videos here or some photos here of me when I first started this whole endeavor. And I actually started this officially one week ago after I discovered that once I decided I wanted to do this video series again, I had started it up one week ago. So one week ago, I stepped in front of the camera again, and I was actually going to do a different video where I talked about it. So there I am attempting to do that, but I chose to take this approach. So I'm about, let's look at my weight here. I'm actually at this point in time, 274 when I was doing this, and this shows one of those uh, weights that I weighed in, probably in that second picture that's there. So versus 290, I was actually, like I said, over 300 in this picture. But that's me at 275-ish, 274, and that was a week ago. And there's the nice side view, 274. And, of course, I had to put it on the back. And as you can see, I've also managed to get my hair issue under control. <laughs> so there is that. So that's that. Um... Those are what I look like. And then this morning when I stepped on the scale. That's where I was at. So in just a week, I went from 274 down to 266. And you want to look at my exercise, what I'm doing. Let's jump over to this one. Like I said, I do P90X. So the chest and back shoulders and arms and legs and back that's all p90x stuff i like those St strength builder and stand up 2.0 and below the belt that's all ddp yoga stuff so that was my first week of doing it like that i went from 274 down to 266 and yesterday i did this strength builder starting it all over again now today when i'm done with this video all i do is chest and back so that's my progress so far after one week and I'm sure you want to see me without my shirt on today, don't you? So give me just a second and I'll make that happen. Okie doke. Here I am without the shirt. As you can see, still got some uh, areas of opportunity. But we've definitely made some progress over the uh, <laughs> those prior times. So this is one week in since I've started initiating this uh, series of videos. 274 to 266 so now the biggest uh, thing I've noticed is not so much the scale the scale is definitely going down the weight is definitely uh, falling off but what I've noticed most is the slimming up here and specifically around here so when I started this whole thing and I was a 315 I was wearing about a 44 inches around here pants my pants are 44 inches and now i'm fitting into 38 inches so that's definitely the big improvement uh, around here uh, i like the scale going down but my biggest thing is moving this down and also i've got to tighten the little things up here <laughs> in time but in time i think that's not bad so we're making progress so so there you have it that's what i look like as of today and uh what is the date today anywho it is 12 8 2019 so as of 12 8 2019 that's what i look like i'm on 266 on the scale that's down from 274 a week ago since i've been really trying to get this weight loss thing and i should discard the word try we don't try we do <laughs> since i started doing the weight loss thing again focusing heavy on exercise down to 266 one thing to note on those protein and fat ratios you saw it shows that I have a higher protein intake than I do a fat. Now, my goal is the one-to-one-ish ratio, maybe a little higher fat intake than I'm doing protein. And one thing that app on my phone doesn't take into account, I don't eat the egg whites. I only eat the egg yolks. There is a lot of protein in the egg whites that I'm not eating. So that number, the protein number, is actually lower than the app is showing it to be. And also, I cook a lot in lard, which is a fat and 
that also is not reflective of that app. So if you uh, factor in the lard that I cook in and I also consume, and then the lack of the egg whites, then that would bump those protein and fat numbers more one-to-one -one or probably a little higher on the fat side. So that's the approach. That's what I'm doing. So <clears throat> moving forward today, I'll do an update video every week where we'll check this, uh, what I've been eating. We'll check stuff on that scale, show a, a shot of me without the shirt, and we'll see how much we can progress, how quickly we can progress, and how well we can feel physically as we do this. Um, I will also be doing other videos talking about the carnivore diet, the carnivore approach, the carnivore lifestyle, if you will, and uh, telling you everything I've learned so far and everything I continue to learn as I go down this rabbit hole. I'll do videos and we'll talk about it. So. Well, don't forget to subscribe if you like which is here. Subscribe, click that little bell so you get those notifications when I go up live. And until next time, have a great day.